We judge people when we presume to know things about them that only God could know. One way we do this is to assign bad motives to other people's good actions. Jesus said, judge not, and you will not be judged. So have you ever wondered why we do that? Humans can imagine just about anything. Good morning, goats. But it seems like we really struggle with imagining that someone else could have better motives than we do. I know this because I automatically assume that other people's motives are as self-centered as mine would be in that same situation. One of Jesus' disciples said that you who judge are guilty of the same things. So this sure seems like a universal human trait. Here's my best theory on why that is. Let me know if you can relate. We all want to feel like we are as good a person as it is possible to be. That our courage, or our work ethic, or the way we love others is as brave, or as diligent, or as loving as anyone could ever expect from anyone. So when we see someone doing something better than we would, we bring them down to our own level by assigning bad motives to that action. The better the action, the worse the motive we assign. That way we don't have to feel like the standard of goodness in the world might be higher than where we are at. The good thing that person is doing, they're probably just doing it for the money. Go. Or that person who is doing really well in life, they must have had it handed to them. Or they must have oppressed a bunch of people to get there. The alternative is that they took a lot more risk and worked way harder than I did to get there. And I'd rather not think that. So I'll just go with, they're rich, so they must be filthy rich. I'm not saying that everyone has good motives. That would be naive. I'm just saying that we tend to judge others so we don't have to examine ourselves. In the book of Proverbs, Sky, wait till I fill the bowl. It says that all the ways of a person are clean in their own sight. No manners. But the Lord examines the motives. This would explain why we judge others by their motives, but we judge ourselves by our actions. Hey, don't eat my finger. Which brings us to Jesus. Jesus said that there is no greater love than if a person would die for their friends. And then he showed way more diligence than I ever have to prepare for having way more courage than I ever will to go through way worse of an experience than I ever would for anyone who would eventually call him a friend. So have you ever stopped to wonder what his motives were for doing that? Oh yeah, the real white gold.